Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to, your, uh, to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan from High Media TV. And today, welcome back to Late Night News, where we are top story of the day. Here are some comments uh, from Melania Trump, specifically on the abortion debate. These are important and very ironic, but let's get started with our headlines for the day. President Biden tours uh, West North Carolina to survey the Herlene damage. Doctor helps supply Matthew Perry. That's the actor that played Chandler being in Friends with Ketamine pleads guilty. A downed power line is officially blamed for last year's Maui wildfire, a reminder that that basically decimated the island of Maui. The judge blocks California deep fakes law that sparked Musk Newsome Row. Mayorkas warns FEMA does not have enough, enough funding to last through the hurricane season. Beirut hit Israel hit as Israel vows very strong response to Iran and and um criminal Eric Adam Mayor Eric Adams may have additional charges brought against him from prosecutors. And now on to our main story. Melania Trump offers a staunch defense of abortion rights in new memoir weeks before election. They come late in a presidential campaign where a battle over abortion rights has played over a central role. She has rarely been seen in public during her husband's campaign. And she offered a passionate defense of women's rights of, to abortion, including late stages of pregnancy, a direct contradiction to the views of Donald Trump, according to excerpts from her memoir that is scheduled to release next week. Quote, is imperative to guarantee that women have autonomy in deciding their preference of having children based on their own convictions, free from any intervention or pressure from the government. Lindy's comments are a political bombshell coming in the final weeks of the presidential campaign in which Donald Trump's threats to women reproductive rights have played a central role so uh, let's be so for real right melania trump is somebody who she and i'm not i'm saying this plainly i'm not saying this as a um i'm not saying this to be disrespectful she is was a gold digger she is somebody who you know married donald trump for his money Donald Trump left, cheated on his last wife with her, and, you know, obviously she reviles this man simply for the fact, you know, because he probably has beaten and raped her, and which is why she spends all her time in New York despite Trump living in Florida. You know, now that Barron is a college-age student and an adult, she, the leverage that Trump has over her is lessened. You know, ultimately, this memoir is, I think, probably going to be the first step for her of having her own money, which I think is a big part of it, because I would not be surprised if after everything that Trump has done, she wants to leave his ass. So I think that this is, um, I think her memoir is uh, entertaining. It, I, I would be if this is some of the stuff in it i'm entertained at the idea of it um and you know but do i think that this is gonna give people any sway no melania trump has never been relevant to maga and stuff like the handful of times she's been pulled out like like the maga folks like trump who he's married to means nothing to them uh this is just you know you know, maybe there's a handful of, you know, median undecided voters. But, you know, when you think like if you picture in your mind what a median undecided voter looks like and, you know, yeah, so I don't know. I think I don't know if that I, and I don't even think that this is going to make that much of a difference electorally. Um, I maintain and I've maintained this for months now. This upcoming election is not going to be determined by policy it's not going to be determined by you know winning voters over it's going to be exclusively done by turnout what ultimately you can't trust the polls except for maybe pew research um ultimately you know the fact of the matter is is that when people when more people show up to vote democrats win everywhere overwhelmingly every time and so this is if this was 10 years ago 20 years ago this might have mattered 
but now it's all about energy and it's all about engagement and it's all about eagerness to vote and you know as funny as this is and as compelling as this fact is it's just we are in uh, we are in a, pr a precipitous political age it just doesn't matter hey thanks for watching if you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video outside of live streams or just be a join the community and be a part of it you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord discord links there we'd love to have you and given the financial situation of the economy right now i know this is a tall ask but if you have the scratch to, to spare please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip all of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.